superstition has many strange bedfellows, so we'll wake up some of them. The drum, like this one from Lapland, is the magician's favourite spirit invoker. Masks typify different spirits, and this is an Eskimo frightener, which, like the others, is in the famous British Museum collection. Aprons, too, are part of the magician's stock in trade. And here's one from Tibet, made of human bones and representing gods and demons. The Tibetan magical wardrobe also includes a cape. The mask on it indicates the nature of the demons invoked by the spellbinder. A hat completes the outfit of the dandy magic man. The top represents a skull and flaming thunderbolt. The brim is a most elaborate affair. And the decoration looks like a medal is the moon. In Borneo, the hornbill is the sacred bird, and it's credited with the most remarkable powers. Its every movement has some particular meaning, whether for good or evil. In Mashona land, they make a lot of bones about it. The bones are controlled by the spirits, and when thrown, they decide such issues as innocence or guilt. The gourd of Nyasa land serves much the same purpose. Practically anything does for the dice, and in this case, it's a dried beetle. If a person is innocent, a piece of white china is bound to turn up. If quarrels are imminent, a twisted piece, and if illness threatens, a hollow piece. In the Belgian Congo, the rubbing of a dog's back with a stone is the deciding factor. If the stone sticks, the party is adjudged guilty. Rain divining charms are used by the Zuni Indians. An eagle's feather is an offering and a prayer, and the tapping is the pitter-patter of the resultant raindrops. The Thunderbird intercedes for rain in the Queen Charlotte Isles. It's a fabulous creature of great size, which makes a noise like thunder as it flies. More enlightened people have given this bird um, the bird. The gods are fishy in New Ireland, North America, and the carved effigies are remarkable examples of skilled handiwork. Before a fishing expedition especially, the sacred fish must be consulted, and it's a sin to tell a lie. These charms are worn by Ashanti women to ensure bigger, blacker, and more bouncing babies. From French West Africa comes a spirit that's as hard as nails. It's the controlling spirit of a secret society, and the nails mean wealth. Prayers offered to it bring riches while you wait. But the oldest method of looking into the future is the polished lava mirror of the Aztecs, and it's still being used in one form or another today. <laughs>